The 208 Idaho has nearly 108,000 miles of rivers, the most of any state in the continental United States, and its whitewater adventures often considered tops in the country. Many of those miles of rapids run right through the deepest canyon in North America, where the Snake River rolls through Hell's Canyon. We dropped in two years ago, nearly to the day, as part of our Exploring Idaho series, and today we're headed back to a place only accessible by foot or by boat. At first glance, the view alone from Deer Creek Road is riveting. But thousands of feet below, the Snake River coils, marking the boundary between Idaho and Oregon, and creating a canyon that is second to none in North America. This is Hell's Canyon. And this is the best way to be in it, aboard a jet boat. Smack in the middle of the Wallowa Whitman National Forest, the Hell's Canyon National Recreation Area covers nearly a third of the forest's 2.3 million acres. But this sliver of 32 miles of the Snake River is kind of the crown jewel. Something Kurt Kilgore and his family have known for more than a century. I'm fourth generation, so yeah, my grandpa was, was born here and, and his dad came in here on the Oregon Trail. So yeah, we've been here forever. It's the late 1800s. So basically, showing off this stretch of the Snake River which the U.S. government has designated as wild and scenic, is like giving a tour of his own backyard. That's it. It, it comes natural. <laughs> in 18 years of running Kilgore Adventures... All right, guys, this is our first stop. This is Kirkwood Ranch right here. Kurt has run this section of river nearly 2,400 times. However, he never tires of taking people up here for the first time. You know, I just thought about something. Captain Kirk? Yeah. I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> that's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> There's lots to see along the way, including historic sites like the Kirkwood Ranch that gives a glimpse of canyon life in the 1930s. But the big show comes while in the boat. Kurt calls this the elite section of the river with a vertical plunge of almost 8,000 feet from the highest of the snow-capped Seven Devils Mountains to the water, it's the deepest gorge in North America, even grander than the Grand Canyon. As for the water, that's in a class of its own as well. A river's difficulty is rated from one to six, with one being the easiest. And a six is considered impassable, like a waterfall. And so we actually go through two class fives on this trip. So it's just about all you can do. One of those is the Wild Sheep Rapid. And heading upriver can be exciting. But dropping in downriver, well, that's distinctly more dramatic. Beneath basalt that may be some six million years old, Kurt faces the class fives like it's all still new. In the real big water, I still do get pretty jacked up, you know. And those along for the ride feel the same way. Oh, oh. every bit, yeah. Every bit of spectacular. It was just unbelievable. Just another day in the office for Kilgore Adventures. I mean, I get told that every day. I got the best job in the world, so I guess I'll take it. Yeah, you can see how that would never get old, and you can see a 360 version of that story, a total immersive Hell's Canyon experience. It's on KTVB's YouTube channel right now. And if you actually want to do it for real, take a river run with Kurt. He says they're open for business. We spoke to him this week, and he said they're worried at first about this season because COVID caused hundreds of cancellations from out-of-state customers, and that meant thousands of dollars out of his pocket. But Kurt says they are being kept afloat by Southern Idaho folks who still want to get outside and do stuff. The only calls they are getting from those customers are to ask if they are still running the river. Yes, they are, but like with everything else, they're heading into their 20th season with some changes. Our season is going to be a little different, though. I mean, we're, you know, we're going to have a lot more Idaho people. We can definitely tell that our local um, people from the Treasure Valley, Boise area mostly. 
uh, we're basically relying mostly on them. We can definitely feel that. And that's been a real highlight is not hardly any have even asked for a cancellation. So everybody in Idaho is pretty much ready to go. So are you encouraging like larger parties so that kind of everybody knows each other or does that really not play into it yet? Um, there is groups that are doing that, uh, that are booking, you know, their own friends and families, that's for sure. Uh, but no, there's still a lot of mixed match groups and we're just kind of, you know, keeping them not full boats and letting people space out if they want to and, and uh, just keeping things really clean uh, on the boat as well. We're going to be wiping things down instead of using lemon scent pledge we're using clorox and stuff like that and i mean it feels pretty safe to me we, we have the windows open and we're going you know 30 40 miles an hour with air, fresh air just blasting i don't think you can catch anything but a smile probably